This area is where I live, my home, and um, I don't feel safe anymore. Lucy Park was on her daily stroll in central London when she was racially abused and threatened because of the coronavirus pandemic. There was this white guy just like started to kind of shout out random stuff and you know, like very derogatory words saying go back to your country you guys are the virus you Chinese are spreading the virus and I was like okay I I might get physically attacked now so I I really felt really okay this is dangerous Lucy is not alone police figures estimate the number of incidents of hate crimes against people of East and Southeast Asian descent has tripled since the start of the year this mother of two was abused while on a bus and said she cannot understand why people were treating her that way. The girl who was most petrified started looking at me, coronavirus, coronavirus, loud, loud and clear. And I looked at her like, I just like I was speechless. How did it make you feel when you were on that bus? I felt shocked, my heart was beating a bit and I felt helpless and I felt sad actually. Community leaders have been calling for a meeting with the Home Office and the police, demanding more arrests and a public inquiry. But the government is yet to attend. Even though we are contributing to our culture, life, economy, society, we are then at the brunt of racist attacks simply because of the colour of our skin. And it's making us fed up, it's making us angry. And that's why we really hope action is done. <laughs> Sarah Owen, the first female MP of Chinese descent, has faced a barrage of abuse online since the pandemic started and wants the government to do more. They should call out corona-related racism when they see it. I think that they should work with the police and our community to make sure that we are safe. And lastly, I think they should get tougher with social media companies to take down conspiracy theories and racism. The government says it strongly condemns those who have committed these hate crimes and will work to bear down on offenders and support victims. The pandemic has already impacted this community disproportionately and the increased hate crimes and racist abuse is a further added tragedy. Shihab Khan, ITV News.